The South Dunedin Cycle Network was announced in February at a total cost of $4.5 million. It included a plan for quiet streets that allows cyclists to travel more safely. Consultation began after the introduction with 166 submissions, a forum with 120 people and more. Cycleway advocate Councillor Ginty McTavish called for an approach to the government for funding for a network where bikes and cars were separated on the road. I think it would be a shame if we didn't investigate the potential for funding, government funding around that in the light of that, um, that approach. Mayor Dave Cull moved the network be adopted, noting the quiet streets aspect was a New Zealand first. That did not appeal to Councillor Lee Vandivis, who said a suggestion roads should be made safe despite people's behaviour was not a practical or affordable ideology. I don't believe that Dunedin is in a position where it can afford to get into pioneering and pilot schemes which are essentially experimenting and leading, if you like, uh, the country in terms of cycle uh, infrastructure. Mayor Dave Cull responded to that outlook on city planning. And I'd have to take um, issue with, again, with Councillor Vandivis saying that we shouldn't leave. I, I want our city to be addressing its issues in a bold and innovative way, not being timid and sitting on our hands and worrying that we won't get it right. Of course we won't get everything right. The recommendations were carried with $2.5 million of work this year set to provide a route from Tahuna to Portsmouth Drive and towards the city. Concerns from some businesses on the network mean some work will be delayed and reconsidered, but the network as a whole appears set to make the two-wheel option just a little more attractive in Dunedin. David Lockeray, 39, Dunedin News.